I don't know whether he's going to allow this because I don't even know whether he allows video responses at all. But I've just noticed that Robert Llewellyn, who was Crichton in Red Dwarf, has um, just well, I don't know how long he's had it, I haven't really checked, but I've just noticed that he's got a YouTube account. So uh, if you do allow this, Mr. Llewellyn, hello, I think you're brilliant. Yes, I even saw that thing that you used to do, that thing you did, what was it, Channel 4, but like way, way back when it was, uh, you, you were like in a coffee shop thing. I, I was only little and I couldn't actually get Channel 4, but we could get S4C, but it wasn't on S4C, but you just check it. See, I know, I, see that was, oh, I don't know, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, Red Dwarf. I like Red Dwarf. Oh, that got me through some difficult times. You know, when I was unemployed the first time and I had nothing to do, I would just watch Red Dwarf over and over again. I used to love, that I used to be obsessed with certain television programmes, but never reality TV. Never, never, never. Although I got a little, there was a bit of a bad time a couple of years ago when I started watching Big Brother. That's, we, we just go, we, we won't go into that. And I tend to watch American Idol too, actually. So I do watch some American... Oh, God. My whole argument was going to be that it's not women's television, reality TV. But most, most reality TV, let's be honest, is shit. And that, they really are. The, the talent-based component of American Idol, I like. So sad. Uh, but just ignore everything else. Yes, reality TV is just shit. But some of the things you mentioned... Um, like, The Mighty Boosh. Is that supposed to be for men? I love The Mighty Boosh. I love them. That's so brilliant. And you mentioned 24 and The Sopranos. Which the only reason I don't watch those is I don't watch television anymore, really. But I do watch certain things. I mean, I watch Boston League, which I suppose is sort of women's television. But it's got William Shatner in it, who's sort of like... Well, he's Captain Kirk. I don't know. And But and James Spader, he's just... Oh, he's fantastic. So I don't watch much television. What television I do watch, it's very sparse and picked out, like Doctor Who or Torchwood or, well, Red Dwarf if it was back on again. Just, and I have seen Top Gear a few times, even though I don't like cars that much. The reason I don't like cars is I can drive, I haven't driven for seven years. There's no point looking at cars when I can't have cars. I know that's sort of like, that. maybe that's the difference between men and women. Maybe that's the difference, it's aspirational TV. And you aspire to something you can't ever have, but you watch it anyway, and I don't tend to do that. If I can't have it, then... Now, that's a lie, too. See, this was all going to be about the difference between how you're wrong, that, that it's not women's TV anymore. It's not just made... But it probably is, but it's not the sort of woman that I want to be. I mean, my mum, when I go home to, to see my mum, my parents, they tend to watch... Uh, she, she watches EastEnders and Neighbours, which aren't reality TV, they are actually, I suppose, a step above reality TV in that somebody's put some thought into them or whatever, but they are, I suppose, women's TV. Never Coronation Street, although some of the people I know that watch that are men anyway, I don't know. Is it? I, I don't think it is women's TV, though. I would hope not. I would hope that women were above that, that this is just rambling. I, I, I was going to sort of cut in like you did in yours, uh, Mr Llewellyn. So you've got to give you the respect. He's great from Red Dwarf. He's on YouTube. I can't believe that. I'm just sounding like a really stupid fangirl now. But I just, you know, I can't believe that somebody on YouTube is like, I know there's other people. It's Adam Buxton. I mean, he's Adam and Joe show. Christ. Yeah, but, but no, I'm, I'm not talking about that now. Men's TV. I don't know. I like sci-fi. I like, I like things like Star Trek. I uh, didn't really like some of them. I, but maybe I like... I, on some levels, maybe I like the more female parts of the sci-fi, but I don't know whether that's exactly true. I don't know whether you can gender differentiate. That's not even a... I can't... I don't think that you can separate male TV from female TV. I do know that you can separate really crap TV from good TV. And most of what's on these days is really crap TV. That's true. I don't think, I mean, I would be working in TV, were it not for the fact that there aren't really any jobs for people that want to do new, great, wonderful stuff, because, I mean, apart from BBC Three, you can do a few stuff. I know, I know people that have been commissioned for on a low level, but it doesn't really get past BBC Three. And the stuff you see on BBC One is shit. And the stuff, Channel Four used to be a bastion, I used to love Channel Four, and there's nothing on Channel Four anymore, it's all complete and utter crud. So I can see what you mean. 
it's just, and then there's like 700 channels of complete rubbish. I used to work for um, What's Up on Digital TV writing about new programs. Because it's a male magazine, it's, it's really, sort of it is, because it's all about technical stuff, mainly about satellite dishes and satellite equipment. And I used to just write about the television, the actual television, which they used to call software, which I always thought was very annoying. Cute, but annoying. But I used to write software reviews, which is just TV, all about the TV, and I used to do interviews and stuff. Um, I, but, I mean, the sort of TV that I would do, mostly, unless we were trying to, well, unless we were trying to get dinner out of uh, PR people, it was all sort of male orientated really. So, I, I wrote a lot about science fiction shows, and my, my boss, the first boss, was really surprised that I knew anything about science fiction shows, but I do, because I love them, and comedy. Science fiction and comedy, and really quality drama, that's good, but not shit drama, not like, I don't know. I don't know, because there is some stuff that, that crosses the line that is sort of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say really. I'm, I'm burbling again, that's what I do, I'm sorry. And I suppose what I do a lot of the time on YouTube could be classified as reality TV. But it's not TV, so that's okay. And I'm a female, so that's apparently what I'm supposed to do. Yes, so I was going to talk about the gender starters, but I'm just rambling on, as I do. Because I'm a woman. So there you go, you're right, we just chat and talk rubbish. I hope you find your way, I hope you do commission something, not commission, because you're not commissioner, I hope you do get something commissioned soon that's really good, because there needs to be more quality TV, you are right about that. There needs to be more proper, for really good comedy, the sort that used to be on BBC Two, that isn't really anymore. Not the sort that is on BBC One at the moment, which really, you wouldn't feed to pigs. That doesn't even make sense, does it? I'm sure pigs would love to eat it. Yum yum. Am I being offensive to s I'm sure that there's like something wrong with what I've just said, but it's not meant to be. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I I'll just I'll just wrap this up because I'm I really am going on on off the deep end. So, gender TV. I'm probably going to call this sex on TV or something, so I get loads of people watching it, and then they're going to be so disappointed in me. Okay, thank you very much for being Robert Llewellyn. Robert Llewellyn, that's all. Thanks.